Hello, pilots and ground crew. Welcome back to my channel. This is a really, really quick tip if you're using the uh, GEP RC 12 amp 4 cell F4 flight control board. The one that I just showed you in my previous video that I put inside this, which I knackered up. However, I've got the new flight control board now. I've whacked it in. I've done a quick test flight in the house. All right, but. There's no point showing you that until the weather changes to get outside. All right, but uh, when I was doing the board, I remembered somewhat that I did not mention in the previous video when I did the uh, Super Whoop homemade job video. And it's to do with the flight control board and wiring up your receiver. All right, so let's just uh, jump over to the other page so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, here's the flight control board. Now at the top here is where you actually wire up your receiver or your LEDs there, but I mean, you're not gonna bother with LEDs, but you might, but if you want all your LEDs, signal wire goes there, you got your ground and your five volts, but forget all that, all right? You're not gonna bother with LEDs and some of this small. Your camera goes at this side, but, right, this is the important bit. Because it's a micro, right, you're gonna be using a small receiver. Right, and most of them come locked into either S bus or I bus or something like that. Now, if you're using a small little receiver that's uh, S bus, right, you want to wire it here, ground 5 volts, and where it says RC, right, that's where you wire your signal wire. Now, that's for S bus, right. Now, here's where I run into a little problem that I couldn't figure out straight away. Because the receiver I was using was iBus. Right? Now, we uh, bound okay to my transmitter and everything seemed bound up and everything. Everything looked great. But I wasn't getting a signal through to beta flight. You know, on the transmitter page, there was no signal going through for my iBus receiver. Because on iBus, it's slightly different. You still put your ground here and your 5 volts here. But for iBus, you come down here to this little pad that marked R2, Romeo 2. Right? And you connect your signal wire on there for your iBus. Right? And that's all this video is. It's just a really quick little bit of, uh, it's not really a tip, it's sort of like information. If you get one of these boards and you're wiring up an iBus receiver, you're liable because you, you, you'd, just, you'd just follow it, you'd go ground 5 volts and signal wire, which is exactly what I did with my iBus receiver, and nothing happens. So I had to do a bit of research, right, and I thought I'd just knock this bit of a video out really quick, right, just so uh, you don't have the same problem I had. So it's ground 5 volts, and if you're using iBus, you connect it, you solder your signal wire onto this R2 pad here, S bus, you'd solder your signal wire onto RC. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Right, and I'm going to leave it there actually. I'm not going to uh, waffle anymore or carry on. Oops, I'll tell you what I will do. There you go. I'll just tell you one more thing. Right, as I said, uh, I put the new board in here now. Right, and uh, it, it works great. Just had a little flight in the house, but like I said, I'm not going to show you that because it's more of a hover than a flight. And as soon as the weather changes, I'll uh, take it out and uh, give it a bit of a rip, probably just down the street or somewhere or other. But we've got constant rain at the moment, so I can't even get out in the street, let alone anywhere else. Okay then, but uh, yeah, quick tip, sort of, more of a don't do what I did uh, and here's how to do it, bit of information. Okay then, uh, pilots and ground crew, uh, thanks for watching, hope this helps, and as I used to say, and said for a while, if this just helps one person, I'm happy. Okay then, uh, cheers.